It wasn't a missile this time. Tonight, Kim Jong-un shot off his mouth, calling President Trump a mentally deranged dotard and warning he'll pay dearly for his threats, which you'll recall include wiping North Korea off the map. Earlier in the day, Mr. Trump slapped new economic sanctions on the North, but his efforts to get Kim to the bargaining table may be jeopardized by his threats to scrap the nuclear deal with Iran. Here's White House and senior foreign affairs correspondent Margaret Brennan. President Trump wants to renegotiate the 2015 agreement that froze Iran's nuclear program in exchange for lifting financial sanctions. That deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. He wants a longer, more stringent deal and is trying to force the issue by accusing Iran of not complying with the terms of the existing deal, even though all five other signatories, including Russia and China, say otherwise. So does the Secretary of State. Iran is in technical compliance of the agreement. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said his country will not renegotiate and warned a U.S. pullout would have broader implications. Is there a diplomatic way out? Talking would be a waste of time, he said, and in the future no other government would be willing to negotiate with a country that tramples on its commitments. Walking away from the Iran deal may also complicate U.S. attempts to get North Korea to agree to give up its nuclear weapons. Senior um, national security contributor weapons. Michael Morrell. So if we back away in any way from our nuclear agreement with Iran, we send a signal to North Korea that a future president might unravel their deal too. So it is a disincentive, strong disincentive for North Korea to come to an agreement with the United States. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said he is optimistic that the U.S. can handle both two. threats. So the, the threat's the same, but the nature of the agreements are going to be quite different in terms of what's necessary to achieve the objective of denuclearize North Korea and Iran that never pursues nuclear weapons. I asked U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley if walking away from the Iran nuclear deal makes it harder to broker one with North Korea. Her response? It doesn't undermine U.S. credibility, but shows the president is looking out for the American people. Anthony? Thanks, Margaret.